Sybil was, uh, the premise was that she is an aspiring actress in Hollywood and um, uh, had been married, isn't married anymore, and is kind of trying to create a new life for her as an actress with her friends and, you know, and, and what I liked about Sybil is that Sybil is a, a very, herself is a very classy lady. And so it allowed me to do something very classy, you know, with her environment. It was kind of fun. It was kind of Hollywood. We kind of did lots of interesting sets and, you know, and, and movie sets and, you know, because she was like doing a movie or um, it was, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that show. Um, what, what was the working experience like for you there compared to Roseanne and, and Grace Under Fire? It was different because Sybil and I got along very well. She and I are exactly the same age. And um, she had great respect for whatever I did. I mean, if she, something I would get a note about, well, Sybil didn't like the whatever, you know, was a picture or whatever. And I would go and i say, you know, oh, did you not like the picture or whatever? And she'd go, oh, is it, or is it okay? Or do you like it? Or, you know what I mean? You know, she would she would always kind of defer to me and say, well, what do you think? And and so we, we got along very well. Um, I don't know that she got along with the creators as well, but, but um, um, she and I got along well. Um, she, she really appreciated the work. I was able to, fortunately, go to her home before I finalized the design on that set. And that's a, an important thing. If, if you have an opportunity to go to the star's home before you commit to a design, that's a huge advantage because now you know what they're used to and you know what their life is about and you kind of can get an idea of what kind of things they're comfortable around. So so I, I went there actually looking for some research on photographic research of, of some pictures, some older pictures of her and so forth. And so I, I went there and she brought out a whole thing and I was looking through some old pictures. It was very, it was very funny because I I turned this one page and there was this picture of her when she was a Breck girl. And this is so weird, my wife, when she was a, an, a, in art school, painted this exact picture of her as a Breck girl. And we had the painting at home and I thought, wow, there's the painting, you know, it was right in front of me. So I told Sybil, I said, you know, my wife painted this thing, you know, years ago when you were a Breck girl. So she goes, well, bring it in. We'll, we'll, and so we put it on the set, this, the painting that my wife did of, of Sybil when she was doing uh, 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 the Breck dad. So, um, but more importantly, I was able to see her environment, what kind of things she liked, and we brought some of those into the set. And so she immediately felt at home in this, in, in this environment. Um, you won your first Emmy on Sybil, wasn't it? Yes, that? yes. Okay, so th now you're winning an Emmy. How did that feel? That felt real good. <laughs> yeah, that felt real good. And and again, uh, I felt especially good about it because again, we were we were not in a in a specialized category. We we're still up against all all the series, every series that was on. Just um, so that that was a surprise. Um, but um, yeah, that was a that was a, a nice feeling, and I felt good about uh, the, especially that I had a decorator who I was extremely fond of. Uh, Rochelle Mosier, who's retired now, but you know she worked with me on that, and uh, I, that was a that was a, a good feeling.